Queen 5 suited is pretty close. The guy folds to see that 49% of the time. Once he limps um, and we're in position, it's pretty easy to play a bunch of hands versus him. I'm just going to raise up pot here under the gun with 9-10 suited, uh, just mainly because the 66 v-pip fish is in the big blind. I want to make sure that I isolate versus him, and I don't mind building a pot versus him if, if he's the only one that calls and we have position. This guy opens the small blind 20%. Um, he did make it 4x. <sighs> Pretty nitty, I'm just going to fold the ace-9. Pretty, um... Pretty bad reverse implied odds, even though, you know, we are in position. So, um, I got what I wanted. This guy folds to uh, flop bets fairly regularly, 52%. Obviously, a flush draw is nice to go with it. Okay, Sonico, he limps early position 44%, so I have no problem getting ace 10 in if he decides to uh, reship it. Uh, limp re raise is only 2%, but who knows what size stack he normally plays with. I know right now I'm crushing his range, I, I just don't, don't want to fold it. Okay, I have over as a gutter ball. Um, and he leads. Donk bet is 32%. After he limped out of the gun, I mean, his range could be real wide. We certainly have equity. I think we have fold equity. Okay, so yeah, he had 3 8 off. Uh, you definitely want to make a note. Oh, I already had a note that he donked essentially top pair. I should have read that. Uh, for the most part I just assume that players are not capable of donking top pair into the preflop razor until proven otherwise and then I make a note. Uh, like an idiot I didn't check the note there so I discounted some of his uh, stronger made hands and just decided to ship it. Um, bluff, it's nice to get heads up with bluff, and um, Ilhana88 folds quite well so far. Been folding a lot to three bets. So I think with 8-6 suited here, Colin's a little iffy. It, it looks like a pretty nice spot to three bet. Even though my image is terrible, I've been three betting a, a ton all over the place. I don't know how much that really matters. If I can get a fish heads up. You know, worst case scenario, he calls, and we now have uh, position and the initiative. Okay, I'm going to 3 bet the A7 here. This guy opens the small blind 52%. Doesn't fold much, but um, w with an ace, it's a, just a pretty easy a, a pretty easy 3 bet for value, one way or the other. Especially when uh, ah, he does actually 4 bet a decent amount, so it sucks to get 4 bet. Probably have to fold in that case, but I still like a three bit better there. Okay, really wet board here on top left. Again, guy opens button 48%, folds to three bet 69. Oh, sorry, this is small blind, so he opens the small blind 38. I take it all back, I'm just going to flat it. And I has a purr. He has the eight. Gonna keep calling here. It's a pretty good turn for me, uh, especially when he checks. Basically, turning this into a bluff. Obviously, we have a bunch of outs too. I, I don't expect to get check raised much.
Okay, I'm gonna leave the full ring table because full ring is boring and bring in a six max with some more fish on it. So yeah, I think that my first video will be something to the long lines of three betting, finding spots where any two cards is a, is a profitable play, uh, and using some really basic pot odd maths to uh, figure that out. Here's one actually. Doesn't come up all that often. Okay, when you have 10 8 suited, I min raised the button, which I highly recommend unless there's a fish in the pot. Um, you gotta min raise. And with 10 8 suited, this guy uh, versus Steel, he threw at 15%. Definitely got to defend the 10-8 suited there. And uh, when the board is king, king 6-6, six, six, oh, we have a king. Um, I was going to say, either way, it's just too good of a board to not see that. And you can make it real small here. You only need to bet about 10% of their stack on the flop if you're going to get all in. So um, w we can make it like, you know, something like 950, and then we'll, we'll make it... Um, 1850 and then ship it. At least as far as it, an overall game plan. Obviously with King 7 it might be a little different since uh, we only have a 7 kicker and we actually do have the King. Okay, we only lose now to Ace King. Uh, so there are some merits to just keep betting. Um, I guess hope to get value from 10s or Jacks. I think it's probably best just to check as if you're giving up maybe see if he wants to bluff uh, check back uh, pocket sevens eights nine something like that So when the turn's an ace, there just aren't that many aces where you can call pre and then call on that flop unless it's just a blind float. Something like ace jack, or you know, any basically any ace if he was just floating that flop. Uh, let's take a look at the hand history and then check back the turn. Oh, I'm gonna fold. I would have called. I was gonna call that. So when duplex opens, range just crazy wide. Um, it's a little annoying when if DNA decides to reship, I think we probably have to fold. But um, my guess is once he limps, he'll get out of the way enough that we can uh, three bet the king jack off here for value. I'm completely expecting him to either fold or call, and um, if he does either, we profit. Okay, I'm going to wrap the video up soon. I have to go. Um, might not post it. We'll see. I guess I'll watch it and see how it went. The 
this. I'll bring this hand in. I th I three bet here. Um, pretty standard, just half pot, half pot shove. Uh, with two pair and um, Buka Man eleven, he he's gonna always bet this flop. We might as well go for a check raise and uh, hope to trap a little bit more dead money there. And um, I don't. Oh shit! I need to put a bet in here. I'm assuming that Missy, when raises there, uh, he or she is so polarized that we might as well just ship it. Um, either has a pair higher than tens, or it's. I guess. I guess there's some merit to calling and and having an ace or king hit, getting more value that way, but. Obviously, a ship sign. I wonder what he or she is time banking with here. Alright, the ace queen suited here. Um, his four bet is 12%. If he four bets, especially 120 deep, I'm just in a world of pain, and I think I have to fold. And his fold the three bet, because one of the reasons is his fold the three bet is so high at 73%. So I slightly prefer just flat in here. Since it's a hand I'm not fist pump getting in. Okay, I think if he had a pair, obviously uh, he's betting, so it looks a lot like a very similar hand to my own. Um, the A10, it's tempting to call. Let's see what in bloom. It's just probably not quite going to be profitable. Especially on flops like that, that's the problem is that if that's the flop, now what do you do? You have to go broke and, and then you lose to an overpair. I'm going to try and get a call here from Ace King or Ace Jack. Ice farmer. Oh, sorry. This this table isn't on the screen. Here, well, I'll move it up right now. Um, the bottom right, the table. You'll notice the fish is gone. I would normally play till the uh, the end of the orbit, but um, it's a good idea to just leave those tables. I have three bet here, blind versus blind, and rice farmer flatted, and he hardly folds a three bet. On, on such a dry board, I think it's better to check. And when he checks again, he probably doesn't have a hand like uh, eights, sevens, eights, nines, tens, um, a hand like that that uh, he would want to bet for value and protection. So I think it's good to bet the turn now. And kind of regain control of the pot a little bit. 
I also don't think he's, you know, amazing at poker to the to be able to hand read that we uh three bet and then check back. Also I would do that with, with uh much stronger hands. Uh the seven is a nice is a nice river. Um for us, I think. Uh obviously it's a pretty good river. I think we have enough showdown value, we'll just we'll just see a showdown. Okay, I got f cold four bet here. Small. I like the sizing by Jasmine, by the way. His cold four bet is four percent. Um, if this were higher stakes, and uh, I had a, I had a history, and he wasn't such a, such a nit, it's not a bad spot to to uh, five bet ship it in. Obviously, given these stats and everything, um, it's a pretty easy muck. Okay, it looks like Duplex just wants to get all in, so we will let him get all in here. Or not, interesting. For some other players I'd just I'd call there, but Queen 10 was probably a flat versus duplex there. I like opening the cutoff to two and a half, the button to two, to a min raise. Unless there is a big fish still in the pot, then by all means make it bigger. And I guess in this case, Roger is still in the pot. I could have made it a little bigger, but really no need with pocket twos. I know he's not going to exploit any size intels. Okay, I'm gonna bring in uh, another hand, another table with duplex seven seven. I guess it's really deluxe. You know, whatever helps you remember the screen name works just as well. So the, this O O O opens the button 48. I can see his overall fold of three bet is 69 percent on the button. It's also 69, and uh, it's one of those that's just barely a uh, any two spot. Especially when the table is just a little short-handed. Okay, uh, so first Alexia, this is a good a good spot to flat. And although the board totally missed us, he insta checked. I'm just gonna pot it, and uh, hope he's on check fold.
With 8.4 off, when Deluxe opens, he opens the small blind 87%, so it's certainly something to be aware of that uh, if there's nobody in that seat, as the, as is the case now, that you have, you're going to have to defend a bunch. And I'm actually going to ninja take that seat if I can here. Uh, again, with Deluxe, he's, he's just still on the button and small blind so steel happy that uh, we're just gonna three red him a lot uh, let's see is fold yeah fold on the button 78 percent even if he does see a flop it's still uh, another profitable profitable spot to, to see bet Last time he did that, uh, obviously we had aces shipped and he folded. Um, that time uh, I'm just going to give it to him. In the 900 hands I have, he's only 4 bet 9% of the time, so probably those two times that we actually witnessed. 3.5. I really like if it's 100 deep to make it 3.5 on, on the small blind. I think 3 is just a little bit too inviting. And uh, four is just a little bit too much money you're putting in, and you're going to be out of position the entire hand. Um, this flop is so terrible. Missy doesn't like folding, especially after defending the, the big blind here, blind versus blind. Um, it's nice that uh, I got to check back on the flop, but I don't think it's time to start firing. I, I really can't rip much. It looks like. Um, she's also just trying to get to showdown. Just gonna fold. Could definitely flat. I think check raise is bad, but uh, it's probably probably everything but fold is minus EV. Uh, with four nines suited and a fish with a, uh, half a stack, I think it's the best. The best option there on the button is just to give it up. Okay, let's see. The very hand before, same thing happened. Uh, someone made it three. We got a flatter. I squeezed to fourteen with air, and I got folds, and it worked again. I have three bets a lot, real tight uh, pre, but he three bets out of the small blind, 23%. I don't have any fold to four bet stats yet. It's only a few hundred hands. Um, clearly, this is just a four bet. Get it in, but it would be interesting if it was, um, you know, some other ace jack or ace queen. If it would be the same same situation, probably with ace queen, I would. Stop it. Oh, no, I win. He had queens or jacks? Queens.
Okay, uh, there's a decent amount of fish on bottom right. However, I don't see any that are uh, above 40 VPIP. So I'm going to move that aside for now and uh, find a better table. Oh yeah, cow cowboy is, but we're out of position. Which actually just kind of sucks. So the queen nine suited again. We'll just uh, three bet him. He folds it. He folds enough, and we have the queen nine suited. It, not a bad situation to have um, the big blind flat, and we do flop a queen. I think it's best to just keep keep with all the pot. So I wonder if S. Palin is flatting with hands like King Jack, maybe even King Queen. I guess possibly Ace King, although you'd think that eh, maybe not. Ace King is in his range. Kind of ran out of time to think there, but I guess we'll just check and hope to God he had, has pocket nines or something. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the video. Ended up going a half an hour, so we'll see how it turned out. Uh, until next time, this is Cox Quinn for LaserPoker.com saying Saudi Hop.